Volume 10, Happy Fine Motor Friday. Today I'm going to be reading you one of my favorite stories called How the Jackrabbit Got His Very Long Ears by Heather Urbitska and illustrated by Kenneth Splenger. This is a really cool story because not only is it a story, but it's also what we would call a folk tale. And a folk tale is a special kind of story that would be used to help explain or describe why certain things came to be. So for example, why does the jackrabbit have very long ears? I guess we're gonna find out. So sit back and enjoy. In the beginning, the great spirit made the world. He made the oceans, the mountains, the lowlands, and the forests. We should all remember these because we studied landforms. Hint, hint. Then he mixed a bit of red clay with sand and blew it in each of the four directions. And the great desert of the southwest was formed. With dabs of paint here and there for yellow and purple flowers and grays and greens for cactus and desert trees. It was a very pretty picture indeed. Next, the great spirit needed a helper to run his errands on earth. After all, a desert isn't made in a day, and the great spirit wanted it just so for all the creatures he would put to live there one day. He needed an animal who was fast and smart and would be able to help settle the other creatures into their new desert homes. So he created the jackrabbit. As the great spirit worked to make each animal, he took great time and care. For beneath its beauty, the desert hid many dangers. For the unwary, there were thorns on most of the plants. There was very little water, and almost every day the sun burned hot. For outsiders, it was quite a forbidding place. But for the desert creatures, well, it was their paradise. Jackrabbit's job was to take the animals Great Spirit created and lead them to their new homes. On the way, he was to explain, as the Great Spirit had explained to him, just how special they had been made so that they could survive in the desert. However, there were times when Jackrabbit got a little bored and he daydreamed about the days ahead when his job would be done and he and the other animals could gather and play. Because of this, he did not always listen carefully to what the Great Spirit told him about these creatures who were to be his friends. I wonder if any of us can relate about not always listening carefully, especially to details. I know I can. As Jack Rabbit took the desert tortoise down to earth, tortoise asked, Jack Rabbit, why is it that I'm so slow? Jackrabbit thought for a minute, trying to remember what the Great Spirit had said. Ah, yes, he replied. It's because you are not as smart as I. Oh, said the tortoise, and he sadly walked away. When Jackrabbit took Bobcat down to earth, Bobcat asked, Jackrabbit? Why don't I have long, beautiful tail instead of this stump? Jackrabbit thought for a minute, trying to remember what the great spirit had told him. Ah, yes, he replied. It's because that was uh, all there was. There were no more tails left. Oh, said Bobcat, and he sadly padded away. Then as Jackrabbit brought Roadrunner down to earth, Roadrunner asked, Jackrabbit, why don't I have the wings of an eagle so that I can soar high in the sky? I'm only 
only able to fly from the ground to a tree? Ooh, Jackrabbit thought for a while, trying to remember what the great spirit said. Ah, uh, yes, he replied, because you're not as important as an eagle, so you can't fly as high as he can. Oh, said the roadrunner as she sadly fluttered away. When the great spirit had finished creating his animals, he looked down upon the desert to see how he had done. The animals had gathered to celebrate their new home. There was lots of laughing and hopping and flying and jumping and general merrymaking. The great spirit smiled at what he had done, but then he noticed three little figures off to the side, tortoise, bobcat, and roadrunner. They looked very sad indeed. The great spirit came close to them and said, how is it that you're so unhappy, my little friends? Don't you like your new home? Each one nodded, but tortoise replied with a tear in his eye. I asked Jackrabbit why it was that you made me so slow, and he said it was because I'm not as smart as him. The great spirit said, Jackrabbit must not have heard me well, because you are special. You alone do not need to run quickly for shelter, because wherever you go, you are always home. Oh, said the tortoise with a smile on his face. Jackrabbit said that I have a stump of a tail because you were out of long, beautiful ones, sniffed Bobcat. Oh, the great spirit sighed and said, Jackrabbit must not have listened well because you too are special. A long tail would have only gotten caught on all the thorns and kept you from moving so quickly on your way. Oh, said Bobcat with a twinkle in his eye and a twitch of his short tail. With her head low, Roadrunner sighed, oh, I am not important like the eagle in the sky, and that is why I shall never fly as high. That's what Jackrabbit said. Oh, the great spirit frowned and said, Jackrabbit, surely you did not pay attention, for you are truly special, Roadrunner. All you need is close to the ground, and no one can travel as fast across it as you can. Oh, said the roadrunner as she fluffed her feathers and flexed her toes proudly. As roadrunner, tortoise, and bobcat joined the others, the great spirit was thoughtful. Hmm, perhaps I made jackrabbit too quickly, he said to himself. Not only did he create misunderstandings with his fellow creatures by not paying attention, but a rabbit who does not listen to what goes on around him will not survive in the desert. This would be a good time room 10 to pause the video and make a prediction about what you think is gonna happen next. What is the creator gonna do to help solve Jackrabbit's problem? Pause the video here and come back to it when you're done your prediction. All right, Room 10, I hope you were able to make some awesome predictions about what is gonna happen to Jackrabbit. Let's read on. So that night, while the animals slept, the great spirit changed Jackrabbit's ordinary rabbit ears to much longer ears. And to this day, if you try to sneak up on a Jackrabbit, you'll find he has very good hearing indeed. And that is why Jackrabbit has long ears. I hope you like the story room 10 and take it from me, the owner of two bunnies. There's no way I can sneak up on the bunnies without them noticing. Their ears are awesome. See you later, have a good weekend.